Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite in our Let's Replay series. Uh, we're still in the Hall of Heroes, which is quite a big area, and uh, we're here to confront that man over there, Cornelius Slate, completely dozed up on uh, Shock Jockey, trying to sh stop us with a few Shock Traps. Um... Let's try that. And blast that. Here you go. Let's catch the ammo. <laughs> and that should allow us to blast this guy in the face. Seriously? Okay then. That was interesting. Um, What can I start with? There's uh, another thing I never talked about. There's actually a few vigor combinations you can perform. And I think there's even a trophy if you do all... Eight of them, but most of them uh, are combining uh, Bucking Bronco with something else. But um, something went wrong. Hello, Slate. Gets Shock Jockey from uh, Slate himself. You're not done here, soldier. Eat everything that's on your plate. Finish it. So again, we have another uh, choice: kill or spare Slate. Let's spare him. You're a tin man now. Indeed we are. So let's just get uh, Shock Jockey, because he doesn't look good from, uh, well, overdosing on the stuff. But uh, let's hope it doesn't do the same to us. And ow, that looks very painful as well. Here we go. Press to shoot a bolt of electricity. Hold and release. To create a shocking trap. So again, we have the secondary fire to uh, create a shock trap. Uh, shock Jockey is... He wasn't the first. Comstock's men will surely take it. Do you ever get used to it? The killing. Faster than you can imagine. So, uh, Shock Jockey is, well, surprisingly a figure that you can use quite a bit. Because uh, there's quite a bit of uses for it. As you can see, it's all—it's pretty much the same uh, amount as Bucking Bronco, which is interesting because in previous Bioshocks, uh, the cost for uh, Electro Bolt was pretty high. So let's continue in here. There we go. Ooh. So in this game, you know, their heads blow up. Those seem very powerful. I'll do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks. She, she says that right after I popped the heads of two guys. I think she she got really accustomed to the violence really, really quickly there. Um, let's continue on. So we've seen all that. Even the music has dissipated. Because, yeah. I don't know why they do that. But it kind of feels like they don't want to, well, activate the music anymore. Because, well, nothing's going to happen here. I want to move us along a bit. Holy shit. That guy just lost his head. Whoa, okay. Yeah, there goes another head. Um, what happens if I do this? Holy shit. He just exploded. You can tell what Slate said bothered you. You showed me. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, less you know about me, the better. Um, I remember putting down an RPG here, yeah. So, yeah, we're still fully stocked on RPG rounds, it seems. Um, I'm just gonna go with the, with the shotgun for now, because it's quite powerful. There's nothing in here anymore. Oh yeah, we don't have a figure machine over here. So let's continue on. Hello? Anyone here? So yeah, most of the soldiers, uh, most of uh, Slate's soldiers are dead. But now we'll get to see why Shock Chucky is actually so cheap. Because it's also used to open up doors. There we go. Let's activate the salt machine. I'm quickly going to check here. No, there's nothing for Electro Bolt. That has been added, which is fine by me. Uh, and that, I think that's 
it. Because um, I know there's a few doors we can now open with the uh, shop jockey, but I don't think there's any of them in the building. If I'm not mistaken, because they're not so uh, obvious. So let's get back outside. So, we get outside and we are immediately greeted by a lot of gunships. Right. So let's go with the mosquito over there. Um, and I do want a sniper do rifle. There you go. Is there... Is there still a few of Slate's men left as well? Where's the... Yeah, there he is. Okay, then. You will? You will? With what? Get back. So, as you might have noticed, I think the RPG counts as an elemental attack. Which is why people look like they're exploding more than they should. Because they're, uh, well, they get an extra explosion because of the fire damage. And we have that uh, Vigor Storm uh, thingy added. Um, is there... There was a way to get up there. Oh, I know there's a way to get up there. Never mind. Never mind. I'm stupid. Just uh, trying to remember everything. There's a door here which can be activated with shock jockey. And then you can get in. There you go. So now we can go all the way to the upper floor where the sniper was at the beginning. And I think there's a few things here, if I'm not mistaken. Well, obviously there's going to be a few things here, but... I think there's at least a voxophone and a piece of gear. Sheltered life grants brief invulnerability when gaining health from snacks and health kits. Instead of storm, uh, no way, Jose. There we go. Silver eagles, a lock picking kit. And I'm full health, so everything else doesn't really matter to me. Nothing in there. So uh, give me a second and I'll see if I can find anything else. Doesn't seem like there's anything else up here, just a piece of gear, so let's get back outside. And, uh, well, we're gonna leave uh, Soldier's Field completely, because we need to get back to the uh, aerodrome and get on the First Lady airship, which is gonna be... We should be straight forward, because we're pretty much almost there. Uh, let's gather this bit of ammo for the RPG. Did I miss anything here? There was a corpse here before, but... Doesn't seem like there is anything. Let's get on the skyline. There we go. Oh, this guy is armored. Jesus. Something else around here. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I'm dying here. Oh, that's good. Kind of, uh... Oh, no, clear there. There we go. Another headshot from uh, close range. Jesus. Let's use the RPG from now on. Uh, could get back on the... Shut, shut, shut. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Elizabeth. Holy shit, I was close. Um, should be a bit less aggressive, I think, because that was mostly my fault. Um, yeah, I'm kind of used to having another piece of gear that would have made this a bit easier. But uh, I don't have that at the moment, I, and I do need something for close quarters. Uh, maybe even swap out the sniper rifle for the RPG and then just the machine gun for now. Until I find another uh, carbine, another wallet. 
there we go. Let's uh, loot this place and I'll see you guys in a second. So that's pretty much it. So let's get back on the skyline because I don't think there is anything else. Yeah, let's go back down. Full control as we had before. But now, are there any more soldiers over here? Because it might sound... Yeah, there are a few. Because I can see at least one over there. Jesus. That... So I think now the fireman is fighting for us. And they don't uh, commit suicide when they're done. Let's go with... Fucking Bronco. Where's the other one? I have souls. You do? You can throw them. No? Okay. She just yelled it at the end of the fight. God damn it. Could have used that. But there we go. We're full up anyway. So, uh... Mr. I DeWitt, the I name's Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction. Booker. When there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there. Over there? You did? Where? For your That's a fake direction. Because I know there's this thing. Can't get over here. There's a bit of health over here, but we're full on health. So I don't know what she was just pointing at. That was weird. I don't think I missed anything around here. Did I check this one? Who are the Vox Populi? I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. Malcontents who loathe our way of custom. Who want what you have, free labor of or familiar status. Join the flying squad to defend Colombia. There we go. So, uh, another squad. Yeah, I thought I didn't check that one. God damn it. So I opened up this door, but was there... No, there's no safe in here. There is a two cash registers that I apparently didn't check out, which is weird. So there we go, didn't really find anything uh, of a use. Um, so uh, let's continue on and get back to where we were before. Uh, salts are full completely. What is anarchy if not a knife in the back of our profit? Um, let's see. Reap what you sow. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Booker, the gears. I know about the gears, but I can't shoot the gears if it doesn't turn around, now, does it? Did I just miss that thing twice? Oh shit. There we go. I can actually pick up the crank gun instead as well, because that's actually a new weapon we haven't used before. Although I don't really like the combination now. Now I'm gonna go for the shotgun and the crank gun then. Might be a better way of doing things. Is there another door here that I didn't check? What? Usually if Elizabeth says huh, she found an item. But it doesn't seem like that's the case right now. Some more salts. Didn't I? Yeah, I checked everything out in here. Let's just let's just leave. I mean. Why did I mm. I'm always hesitating. We opened up this door, but was there another safe in here that we never hmm. were able to open up? Yeah. I think you can pick this. Go. Really? That little old lock. I thought there was one that we missed. There you go. Ooh. Thank you very much. Uh carbine. Do I want a carbine instead of the crank gun? I'm just gonna try the crank gun. I mean, I never really used it in any of my previous playthroughs. But it should be pretty powerful, right? It's a freaking minigun. 
Okay, so let's leave this place for good this time. So uh, inside and push the button. There we go. I don't think I understand how you do what you do. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. But I always wanted to come back. To what? I don't know. My family? Huh. How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? Well, I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? And what did that teach you? That there's a world of difference between what we see and what is. Indeed. So she notes that when she was younger, she remembered making portals herself, going anywhere she pleases. But now she's not able to. And since we know that the tower was functioning as a siphon as well, that might be the reason why she doesn't have her full powers. Let's buy possession for less. And there we go. And I think it's actually pretty much... Yeah, it doubles the uses of possession uh, in a practical use. Um, let's swap that out for Shock Chalky again. And let's go with that. There we go. And now, let's see. Um, I think... Yeah, now the skylines are enabled, uh, which weren't here before. And I think there's a few doors here that can be opened with Shock Jockey as well. So give me a second. Yeah, there we go. So one of the higher platforms has a door that can be opened with Shock Jockey. And we can go in here. Uh, okay. So I also filled up on everything uh, with a few salt bottles I found before. So, uh, this is also very gruesome. So, these guys are actually Vox Populi. So, they were uh, executed with a shingle, a single shot to the face, as you can see. Because they look quite gruesome there. Um, there's another little lockpick over here. And I thought, isn't there a... There's a trunk here with nothing in it. There we go, Voxophone. From Preston Downs. Oh, Preston is a sporting man, Miss Fitzroy. I won't steal up on you while you slumber like these Vox boys here with their pig stickers. That's one scalp to me. That's two. Now when you hear this, I want you to square your affairs and come die in the side of the poets. You'll need a white man's weapon. Give this a try. So uh, we know about Preston Downs already. He's the uh, the big game hunter we found at the beginning of the game. Well, we found his stand at the beginning of the game. And he was tasked by Comstock to find Daisy Fitzroy. Um, and Daisy Fitzroy tried to take him out with those two Vox Populi that he executed in the center of the room here. But New Pants Firebird jumping from a skyline has a 100% chance to burn nearby enemies. Victims take 400 damage over 3 seconds. I need to swap that out with Headmaster, so I'm not gonna do that. So let's just take the gear and uh, be done with it for now. So uh, we can actually see his cowboy cowboy head as we, as blue over here as well. Apparently this door can't be opened. Interesting, because the bloody footsteps are going that way. That just leads over on the balcony, which I can access from the other side, but there's not really much here. And there's this door, which is also closed. Lock pick, there we go. Always handy. So now, I think that's the only door I needed. There goes Elizabeth. So let's dismount over here and activate the gondola. sweet Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Once he has what he needs, he will leave you alone. Oh. What else could you expect from a liar and oh. killer of women? Comstock. Father, prophet, whomever you are, I'm leaving and there's not you can do to stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where you're That's wrong. wrong. That's where you're wrong. So uh, I'm gonna have to find a better position here. Because things are starting to heat up. Um, I think I can actually have a motorized patriot over there. That's gonna help me out. And then I think... I'm gonna go with the... 
crank shot from over here. Doesn't look like I'm doing all that much damage. Just gonna wait for them to go... Ow! Wow, that was a rocket to the face. Um, let's go over here. Can I use the crank gun on the... Holy shit. Just trying to stay mobile here. I don't have anything. Oh wow, that was me gone. Please, Booker, please. And there we go, we have that cinematic. Okay, there we go. Um, doesn't really seem like the crank gun did all that much. Kind of explains why I didn't use it before. There we go. Why am I on fire? Let's go with the gun, the gun, the gun. Holy shit, dude, seriously. Um, um. Jesus, I'm just gonna die again. Ow, wow, thanks. No, 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 fucker. So we lose money every time that happens, but this is ridiculous. Get on the higher skyline, Jesus. There, that one. You bet. Ooh. Okay. This is gonna be easier. I think there's a sniper rifle around here as well. That's Elizabeth. Um, is there a sniper rifle? Ooh, for fuck's sake. Ooh, okay. I've got ammo. Okay, thanks. Ow. Jesus. That guy seems to be dead already. Just gonna move around a bit. Um, There we go. I think Elizabeth can come no, drop a sniper hi. rifle in here. Oh! Jesus Christ. Ow! God damn it. These guys are really annoying. Can I get there? Can I get there? Can I get... Ooh. So I think there's another... Uh... Dismount, dismount, dismount. Oh, 
There we go. Uh, now what? Um, let's go up. Because I think, yeah, there's another health kit over here. And a vial of salt. Ooh, go back. Now that I have the sniper rifle, I might be able to take out everybody else from here. Look her. Book her. I do. Catch. Thank you. Nice. There's one over there. I think that might actually be it, aside from the. Uh, There we go. Okay. Well, that was harder than I um, expected. I'm just going to loot the place a bit and I'll see you guys in a second. So there we go. I think I uh, stocked up a bit right now. So let's, uh, well, let's get into the gondola and go up towards the uh, airship. There we go, hairpin lock. lock picking skills to work. I'll see what I can do. So Done. the first lady airship should be docked on the other side, I'm hoping. Because otherwise we're gonna be in a bit of trouble. Uh, let's pick up the silver eagles in the lock pick. A bit more sniper ammo, and that appears to be it. So let's activate the lever. And if it takes as long to go up there well, as it did to get the down. Kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where Maybe you, you should have. New York. Why did you do that? Business much like this. Something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled. And now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. She's reacting rather calmly to that revelation because Booker just told her that he broke her out to, uh, well, to pay a debt. So she's going to be brought somewhere, is the logical conclusion. And then uh, we never really talked about this, but of course, Anna is an important name to Booker. And we know there's AD on his hand, so that is probably. Anna DeWitt. Um, who that exactly is, we don't know for sure just yet. Might be his wife, might be his uh, daughter he uh, lost uh, in childbirth. So, um, yeah, we don't know really, really a lot about that just yet. Uh, do I want to swap the sniper rifle out for the carbine? Um, don't think it will matter all that much up for now. So let's just loot everything around here. More sniper rifle ammo and salts, and that's pretty much it, I think. So let's enter to the airship. Um, session is over. Open fire. Oh yeah, are you? Let's place two traps over here. Let's do that as well. I have the sniper rifle, so. We There we go. I shot once, but he, it looked like he disappeared. There we go. And the last one is up there. I don't think the uh, sniper rifle was such a bad idea. Uh, let's pick up the money we created. Because we did lose a lot this? in that in that battle, in that previous battle. That'll do. I'm hoping I'm gonna get that back a bit. Still no new upgrades, so let's just get the money. That was that was awfully little. That was not a lot of money there. So there's another kinetoscope here. A city mourns. So uh, probably talking about uh, Lady Comstock's death. Lady A. Comstock in memoriam. Lady Comstock's tomb opens for public viewing in Emporia. And there she is. There's her 
corpse in a glass coffin. A little bit like Snow White. Columbia shall never forget your sacrifice, dear lady. And there's the end. So 18 out of 37. I'm wondering if I did miss a few already, because I've missed a few of them just... Because I know because I paused uh, at the later point and saw that I missed them, but... Let's get into this elevator and get to the airship. There we go. Let's press the button. With our uh, wounded so, hand. Looks like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. Yeah, How do sounds like a plan. Know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. So, I could be a tease and end the episode here, but let's get on the first lady airship. Let's just go in here and uh, loot this entire place because there's two silver bars and a lot of money in here. Uh, another infusion. You best pick that up before we continue on. Uh, I don't think there's a way to go inside of that area. Um, anything else around here? Yeah, there's a purse. There's nothing in it. Great. Great. Thank you, game. And look at that. Look at that. This is a familiar item, isn't it? Because that's the wrench, the wrench from uh, Bioshock 1, which is, of course, a very fitting uh, Easter egg. And now let's use the console and let's get out of here. Leave the area. There we go. You're Tossing right. the wrench away. I want to see Paris. I want to see everything. I kind of you now. find no this Wait, what is scene that? strange. 40 north by 74 west. That's not Paris, that's New York. Because she knows we're not One taking her to Paris. One thing I was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. That's the weird thing, because... I, I mean, we just told her that. So right now we have the option to talk to Elizabeth. And, well, that's exactly what we're going to do. Come on, Eddie. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can- Wrench to the face. And that knocks us out cold. So now what? Because I don't think that Elizabeth will be able to fly this airship. She tries. And we hear uh, chanting in the background. But there's a red airship. And we know by now what red means now, don't we? Because red is the color of the Vox Populi. There they are. Looks like they've already taken over the entire airship. Hello, sir. Ow. Well, I would prefer a fist over uh, a wrench. Looks like we're hanging from the airship at the moment. So they're working in a sort of salt mine. Daisy, There's another handyman. This one's awake. So you're this false shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of. And I got perilous need of it. Really? Cause it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side are you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the fox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join I just the fox. Want my ship. And the fox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the fox. You're awfully close there, Daisy. Finkton is a gunsmith supply weapons to our cause get our guns from him and you shall have your ship back okay sounds like a plan oh shit and you should be dead I mean did you see how high that was Wait a okay that just disappeared never noticed that that the airship just disappears like that um I'm guessing, just gonna quickly check, I'm guessing this saved my game over here. Yes, it did. So right now we're at Fink MFG, so uh, the start of Finkton. 
and uh, this is where uh, all those poor people start working. But before we head any further into Finkton, we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, when we get back, we're going to explore this entire area. So uh, thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.